Hey y'all, it's your girl Kelly Nari, and we are back with another video. As you can tell by the caption and the thumbnail, we are going to be doing some hygiene shopping at TJ Maxx. Um, so my hygiene shopping consists of like skincare, body care, feminine hygiene, um, bath, spa time type of stuff. Like really a self care hygiene type of deal. So yeah, if you really like watching that type of stuff, then just continue watching. Um, if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. I really really love y'all so much. Thanks so much for all the support. And if you are a new viewer, hopefully you turn into a subscriber. If you do love my content, just make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and press the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. And let's go. Okay, y'all. So we're going to start with feminine hygiene um, at this point. Because I don't ever come here first <laughs> when I go to TJ Maxx, but they have the Honey Pot um, Sensitive Foamy Wash, which is the kind that I always get from T or from Target, and it's six ninety nine here, as y'all seen. And then they have the normal foaming wash here for the same price, six ninety nine. So yeah, but y'all know I mess with this kind all the time. And they also have some um, deodorants right here. Um, so. It looks like this is a naturally derived deodorant, so it's aluminum free, it's free of um, sulfates, parabens, all that good stuff. Um, let me see, it looks like they opened it and it has a scent, uh, banana leaf, aloe vera, and orange zest. So this one is $3.99. <sighs> Since it's already open, we're going to smell it and see if I like it. Um, I'm always down for um, plant-based stuff. And that's aluminum-free. I don't know how I feel about that, but anyways, let's see. This actually smells pretty good. But it's it has like this powdery scent to it, and I don't know if I like that. But it, the scent smells good. They got some type of green tea deodorant. Have y'all even heard of something like this? What does green tea do for your underarms? I'm trying to see if there's like a... I don't know, girl. Let us think. Okay, have y'all heard of this company, Humble? So this company has a few different scents, and it's an aluminum-free deodorant. Um, it has Mountain Lavender. They have Palo Santo and Frankincense. Frankincense, whatever that is. And then they also have Moroccan Rose, which Treeha actually has a um, body scrub and a whipped body butter with this scent. So, And I like it, so it might smell good, y'all. And then they have um, a ginger scent. Now that might, that might stink. <laughs> and then they have, let me see, all of these. I'm going to smell the mountain lavender one first. This smell good. Wait, this really smell good. And it's only $5.99. And then it's telling you exactly what these um, ingredients are on the back in parentheses. Even though they're using their scientific name here, they're telling you exactly what it is. And I really, really love that. Wow, that smells good. That's really good for deodorant. That scent is really good for deodorant. You know how they be having like certain scents that's just not, not good for certain things. It's a little funky. Like, this could potentially, like, make you smell like you stink, and that's not what it is. <laughs> so, it's a no-go for this scent right here. Mm -mm. I don't like it. And then, so, we're going to smell the ginger one. This is the one I think that's going to stink, too. Yeah, I don't... It's too spicy, and I don't... I'm not trying to smell like a tamale or ginger. Too bad. I'm not trying to smell like ginger too bad. Okay, this is the Moroccan rose one. Ooh. Oh, this smells good too, y'all. I just dropped my thing. But come on. Okay, 
it look a little bit better but yeah this scent actually smell good and this is what i expected it to smell like i really don't like rose scents but this i'm gonna tell y'all right now if y'all want to purchase Humble from online, which I am actually going to put a link in the description box below if y'all want to order it offline or if you want to come in at TJ Maxx, they got it. But these are the two that I love the most and would recommend. So this lavender scent, which is the Mountain Lavender, smells really, really good. And then the Moroccan Rose one. So these two I actually like. This is Schmidt's um, deodorant. Um, it has no aluminum salts, no baking soda, and no artificial fragrance. So if you're allergic to baking soda, this is a really good um, deodorant for you. I'm going to actually smell this and see because they have a coconut and pineapple one. And this is really good for oils. Like if you're oily and sweaty, this clay right here and then a, a coconut scent. And then they also have, I think this is an avocado. Yeah, avocado and lemongrass. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna we gonna smell it, okay? So let's smell the coconut and so this is for sensitive skin too. The coconut and pineapple. And this one is four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oh this smell good, no cap. And it's saying it's 24 hour protection. No. Nah. No, nah, this smell good. Keep smelling it because this is really good. The coconut and pineapple definitely smells amazing. And then this is the coconut and kale and clay. I think that's how you say it. This smells all right. It doesn't, I think it's because I smelled the coconut and pineapple that I'm expecting it to smell fruity. And it's not supposed to because it's only coconut and clay. But this is really good for people that are oily and are prone to sweating this is actually gonna stop those glands from doing what they do okay this is really good for the girls that are like super sweaty or guys whoever it smells actually it smells good and then this is the avocado and lemongrass so far i'm really liking all of these deodorants from schmidt's hmm The lemongrass, it, it smells good. It smells good. I'm not going to lie. So, out of all three of these, I would definitely recommend all of them. Because they smell good. Like, why not? Alright. Let me see if I can get a good thumbnail for y'all. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Oh, they got a um, they got another one, but I don't. I already know I don't like the frank frankincense scent, so I'm not even about to show y'all that because that stuff really stinks majority of the time. Um, what else did I want to show y'all since we're talking about hygiene here? Um, I don't know about no herbal toothpaste. Oh, they got, they got, um, I'm going to throw that back here. They got fish oil. They only got the vitamin C from this company. Mm. Okay. Do you, baby? Do you. Okay. So, the next thing that I want to talk about here, they got some toothpaste in here. Um... I don't know how I feel about this. That's why I'm just not saying nothing. So the toothpaste right here is called Aromir, I think it's called. It's a herbal toothpaste. So it has is non-GMO, no fluoride in there, no colors, dyes, or bleaches, no parabens, it's gluten-free, no artificial sweeteners, it's cruelty-free, and it is vegan. It says use less per brushing, one tube lasts three times longer. Um, I kind of wanted to stray away from the fluoride toothpaste because um, it calcifies your pineal gland and we need to get away from worldly things. That's, that's, that's not letting us be our true self. But anyways, this is a whitening toothpaste with fluoride and it has a mint scent or a mint taste, my bad. 
and yeah so this one right here is oh it don't have a um thing on here y'all i don't know how much that is but yeah that's a whitening tube paste and then here's another clean toothpaste supposed to be um it's non-toxic it controls plaque and it freshens your breath so this doesn't have like a whitening type deal on here and it doesn't have any peroxide or anything it just controls the plaque and then this one right here is looks like a two-in-one for real for $6.99 um it's a whitening toothpaste and it has baking soda and it's supposed to help with your enamel. It is fluoride free. Love that. So, yeah, guys. I don't know. But it has baking soda in there. And baking soda is the whitening agent. Um, and then, ooh, they got this too. A whitening so, pen for $10.99. They, um, they got seven go free whitening strips inside. Okay. So that's pretty cool. And here's a before and after. I don't know how real that is, girl, but yeah, they got that. Um, what else? Oh, then they have this white glow charcoal deep stain remover. So it has the toothpaste and the toothbrush in here. And it is activated charcoal with whitening toothpaste. It's only $5.99 here, and it's normally $9. That's what they that's what they saying. Well, that was a good catch. But yeah. Um, another thing that we can look at right here. Um, if you have really, really bad problems with um, grinding your teeth, then a dental guard is really good for you. It conforms to your teeth after you put it on. So it looks like this, but yeah. And then they have these floss picks here for $6.99. This is a lot in here for $6.99. How many is in here? Look at that. 300. Okay, 300. And then they also have these tongue cleaners which y'all need these <laughs> and then they also have like a metal looking one here it's a stainless steel is what it's got and it's two in the pack um they have some more right here they have four and it's so little but yeah just wanted to show y'all that oh and then also they have this um electric toothbrush it's an all black one and it's a blue tooth y'all know quip but it has a two minute timer with 30 second pulses um you can use it for multiple things and it track your brushing and things like that um it has a three month battery life which is pretty cool i think y'all know about this though and it is 24.99 here y'all know at target's like 35 dollars, so yeah it's cheaper here and um, if you subscribe, every three months they send out a new brush head and a battery refill pack with free shipping. So, yeah, bro. Y'all better come to um, TJ Maxx because it's cheaper here. Why Why pay more? Why pay more? I don't know. Um, They don't have a lot of, like, vitamins that I like, so I'm just not going to show y'all. But we're going to get into the skincare. I really want to try these. And it's the Raspberry Marshmallow um, Bath Bomb. And it's, it smells so freaking good, y'all. Hold on. Let me see. If I can get a good thumbnail. put y'all up here so that way y'all can see what I'm doing. And I just left the gym so don't mind my outfit. <laughs> it's really not L-O-T-D but yeah. Anyways, this is the one I was telling y'all about and it's so cute. I wish y'all could like really see it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's like she put thought into this, okay? It's paraben free. It has coconut in there. It's cruelty free. This really, really smells good i really like this one um and then they also have a grapefruit and lime this smells all right honestly i just i see the two colors in there i don't really know oh i'm sorry thank you i don't know i don't really like that one. Oh, they have a really cute one peach and uh, peach smoothie 
So it has like two different colors and there's like a gold and pink. If y'all can see that in there. Oh, it smells. It smells good. That smells good. And I love that it has coconut oil in here. So it's like hydrating. Not just cute. Um, what else? I think that's it. That's all they got. Okay, boom. So then I think I showed y'all these before, but this is by Body Prescriptions. I really love this company. They're super like creative when it comes to their stuff. But this one has eucalyptus and mint. Like if y'all know anything about eucalyptus, um, it really like opens you up, especially if you're dealing with like congestion and things like that. Um, and it's really just, uh, it really just chill you out. For real. Like, it's almost like lavender in a way. It doesn't smell like lavender, but it almost it gives you the same feel as lavender. Um, this one right here is $5.99. I don't know exactly how many is supposed to be in here. I think it's six. So, I'm just trying to count and see if somebody stole some. Because this is taped up. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, so it's six in here. Yeah, so nobody took anything out. And so, what you do with these shower steamers is you put it right underneath where the water is hitting at. And then it just steams up so yeah this is really really good for if you don't have a lot of time to relax and lay in or be in the bathtub but you need something that's gonna you know relax you then this is really that one i really love that company um this is another company pink sky that have bath scissors this is a watermelon one and it's four dollars and 99 cents i can't really smell it but it looks cute i don't know what it smells like though girl so i I ain't going to tell you to get that one. Um, they also have like some kids fizzy bath bombs. Raw Sugar does. And I don't know. That brand, I actually love them. They um, they are um, cruelty free, vegan, all that good stuff. And it's allergy tested and it's made with plant derived ingredients. It doesn't have any sulfates or parabens in there. Um, so this is really good for kids that just want to have fun but then also get a fresh and fruity scent this is a strawberry and vanilla scent um i kind of feel like i want to buy this for my kids to make bath time kind of fun even though my daughter is like even, <laughs> she like um stuff like that and then also my son it's more good what else is that on here um Trying to see something else that I can smell while y'all sitting here. Oh, this is really cute packaging, but I don't know about the looks of the um scrub in here. I don't know that it'll is the consistency that I like, but it's vegan friendly. Is dermatolog derm? I don't know. Dermatologist tested. It's an Australian brand, and it's in recyclable packaging. So. The scent is like cucumber and green apple. So cucumber is like a really chill scent, but green apple, I don't know. I don't know. But I just opened it, so let's see. Oh, that really smells good. I ain't gonna lie. That smells really relaxing in a way. And the consistency is really gonna exfoliate you. Wow, look at it. I wish you can smell it. <laughs> it smells so chill. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a, a calming scent. Oh, this is cute. With this little scooper right here. I don't know that I would actually care to scoop it out with a scooper. Especially, I mean, I don't know that I would care. Anyways, it's called Summer Citrus. And it's by Real Simple. It's an exfoliating sugar scrub. And... Let's smell this summer citrus and see if we like it. Yo, I'm sorry. It happened. It happened again. I can't even smell it. But, I don't know. The consistency looks like it's alright. I don't know. But that little scoop was so cute. I didn't tell y'all how much this was, but this is $5.99 for the Sugar Body Scrub by um, Eco Pure or whoever they are. I don't know. Oh, let me see. Oh, this is a moisturizing milk sermicide cream. And this is by that company that be having like them strawberry, um, that strawberry body lotion. And it was a strawberry 
body wash too. But this is by the same company. Isn't that cute? How freaking cute. And somebody opened it. It wasn't me. It was already open. But look. Look at the packaging. They smell it. Oh my god. It smells like baby lotion. No, for real. This really smells like baby lotion. Wow. Wait, that smells good. What the heck? So the the um, effects or the benefits of using a sermicide cream um, is just letting you know that you'll have long-term hydration for dry skin and it soothes and nourishes your skin. Um, this is only $6.99 for that big old bottle and I'm pretty sure a little goes a long way especially if you're just using it for your um, face but it doesn't say that you can use it for your face. I don't know. I, when I think of creams I think of like something that you could actually use for your face so but it doesn't say I don't know y'all but it smells really really good I was so surprised that it smells like that it doesn't have like what the scent will be or anything on here so I mean I was surprised that it smelled like baby lotion um blueberry and manuka honey so manuka honey is very soothing so this is called soothe and ground anyway manuka honey is very soothing if you have any flare-ups like just just say if you have eczema or anything like that and your skin is very irritated because it's sensitive you have sensitive skin um, manuka honey is very soothing but this smells good if you really like fruity scents especially like blueberry it doesn't give like you know how like the baby doll smell with the like <laughs> it doesn't give that it smells okay it smells it actually smells like blueberry i don't really like blueberry scents that much um but it does smell good so that really says a lot for y'all blueberry fans but yeah if you're looking for something like this this actually the consistency is amazing as far as exfoliation i'm pretty sure that this is going to exfoliate you really really well very well oh and then it also has um shea butter in here and jojoba oil and aloe so that's cool too and it's five dollars and 99 cents like the other one that's my good okay so this is called your melons butter by amina and i talked to y'all about amina a few times before um but this has retinol in there that helps with wrinkle olive oil and vitamin e i don't know that's cool and it smells so good what wait a minute this is i guess it's like a watermelon scent it's so funny because it's called water my melons i love her she's so creative that smells good what the heck okay dude i really need this like because i've been working out y'all so this one is called um icy babe and this one is a cooling muscle cream so it's used to relieve tight muscles with a cool refreshing sensation and moisturizing and hydrating your skin at the same time this smells like peppermint. <laughs> Y'all know how Bengay smells? <laughs> That's kind of like what this smells like, but not in a bad, bad way. It's not like super strong. I don't know. And it's only $7.99 for this big old bottle. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Probably going to buy this and then... Because I want to see how that works anyways. If it works the way that I want it to work, then we good. Um, I'm going to let y'all know but i don't know i love that she's infusing like retinol and things like this in her body butters like this is really taking it to the next level i mean like and it smelled good okay so and then that was the first, like, I haven't smelled that before. And then it's, a, let me see if we can find another new one. We already know what mermaid kisses smell like. Um, I'm going to plop that one back over there. She coming out with some new, new hatch, and I just never knew. I went on her website, and I didn't see anything like that. So she must have just came out with these icy babes. I don't know. Okay, this one doesn't have a label on there. I don't know what happened to that. Okay, so this is a raspberry and vanilla boobies is what it's called. So it's a boob butter. So it lifts, firms, and tightens. I'm going to see exactly what's in here that's going to make it do something like that. 
Okay, so it has raspberry, oh, retinol in there, vitamin E, vitamin C, shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil. Sweet almond oil is it very good with um, soothing your skin to cocoa butter, um, apricot oil, and it has that color and fragrance in there. So literally her ingredients are not too crazy. Um, I really love that. And it smelled good. It really smelled like raspberry. Mm -mm. Hold on. So this is seven dollars and ninety nine cents for this one. So this one is for your boobs, and then this one is for your butt. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cool. Okay. And then, um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get the icy babe because that was something that I do need. And it's so crazy how like timing just be on time baby um i don't know i don't know if there's anything else that i really just want to smell um unless she got some body scrubs in here and i don't see that she have any so oh there's a coconut oil oh birthday cake i already smelled that one i already smelled that one let me see if i can find anything else in here I don't really see nothing else in here. All her body scrubs gone. Unless they put her body scrubs down here with all the body scrubs. Who knows? Let's see. Nope, I don't see none. I don't see none. Yeah, but yeah, that one's called Anihana. That brand is really, really cool. And this brand too. Don't sleep. I just didn't want to get this because... Yeah, I already got enough body scrubs at home, girl. But look, this is a sugar wax hair remover. What the heck? So this is V. I honestly, V is not as strong as Nair. And this is $19.99. This is if you want to do this at home. So you have to heat the wax. How do you heat it? Oh, put it in a pan of boiling water or in the microwave. <laughs> Once the wax is heated, use the end of the spatula with a blue square. And that's a temperature indicator to stir the wax for about a minute. Check the temperature and then, okay. Put the bottom end of the strip. Okay, they have strips in here too. Wow. You got to be strong though, girl. You got to be strong to wax yourself. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, what else did I want to show y'all? Um, oh, they have this um, body spray moisturizer. A lot of companies are coming out with the sprays. So this is good for dry or dehydrated sensitive skin. It lasts for 48 hours. And you don't feel greasy. It has hyaluronic acid in there too, which is really good. This one is $5.99. I don't know. That's so cute. Um, What else, y'all? Oh, y'all know they have this um, eczema therapy right here, the moisturizing cream. And this doesn't have any steroids in here, so y'all do not need to be scared when y'all see stuff that says eczema. As long as it says steroid-free, then you're good, especially with collodial oatmeal in there. That's going to soothe your skin really good, and it's going to protect your skin as well. If you um, have dry or sensitive skin, this is good for you. Um, but, uh, What else? Oh, they got something called a melon milk? Girl, let me open this to smell this. Melon milk. What is this about? Oh, wait a minute. This smells like watermelon. That smells like watermelon. I don't know how long this scent will last, but it actually smells good. I like watermelon scents for some reason. Um, if it's not like too overpowering. This isn't too overpowering, and it's $5.99 for this big old bottle. If you like watermelon, then yeah, that's for you. But look at all oh, this is so cute. Look at this. It's a hand wash. Um, it's like it has soap in there to wash our hands. And this is so freaking cute. How cute is this? How cute. It's four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Look, oh, I'm choking the beer. Ah, sorry. Oh, this one is 
white sage and lemon they got another one over here this is out of the this isn't over here but oh ultra rich body butter for dry and dehydrated skin oh that has shea butter and jojoba in there wait let me open this and smell it i like this oh this is silicone free and it is vegan friendly let's see y'all this is the white sage and lemon oh this smells so good this smells really really good but um this the consistency looks totally different than the other ones over there wait is this the same company yeah it's the same company so I'm, i don't know i don't know why the consistency looks different it looks like the oils and stuff is at the top of it and I'm not, I'm, I'm not the one that's gonna put my finger in there. I'm just not gonna do that. It actually smells really good though, y'all. Why is, my, how is my battery going in? Not just charged it. I really wanna fight this camera for sure. Um, this is the Prima, and this is a skin therapy ultra rich body butter. I don't know if I can smell this, but y'all, ooh, ooh, this looks very, very hydrating. I'm probably not gonna be able to. Oh my goodness. It doesn't, I don't like the smell. But it looks like, remember when I tell y'all, like the quality is what's gonna get me. But it smells like spearmint a little bit. Like it just has that spearmint. And I just, I don't want that on me permanently. I just don't. Um, I don't like the scent, but the consistency and the texture, it looks like it's going to do exactly what it said it was going to do, especially with that shea butter and jojoba, but I just, I don't like the scent, really. Um, hopefully, I can get through. <sighs> Stupid camera is about to die. I want to just scream, okay? But, um, as y'all know, they do have these in here, so it's about four of these loofahs in here for four dollars and 99 cents y'all know at target it's like 2.99 a piece so you're definitely saving money when you come to tj maxx and then right here they have these cute little facial scrubbers that you could use manually i did show y'all at target that they have something that's kind of like this but it's battery operated and it's a hundred and something dollars like girl you can do 3.99 to manually scrub your own face okay and then they have a duo so they have um this one is really good for exfoliating and then this one is really getting deep in there and actually cleaning and then they also have a facial scrubber right here too um i don't know if this battery operated though ah i'm dropping stuff um no it is not that's okay um i really like these i don't know if y'all use these or not but if you don't you need to start using a brush to go ahead and get in your scalp the way that we need it to instead of using our fingers that'll definitely get you to get there um what they got a knee wrap i probably need one of these i ain't gonna cap because <laughs> i've been doing squats and that shit I hurt my knees bro but this is a um supposed to help with um puffiness and swelling huh so how does this work exactly let me see um oh oh you heat it up what the heck oh you have to put it in a moist cloth or paper towel and place it in the microwave what the hell I'd be scared of putting stuff in the microwave because when I was little, I thought I could cook eggs in the microwave. Yeah, that blew up on me and my sister. I can't even remember how old we was, but baby, ever since then, i just been careful. I only put food in there. Okay. Um, so they have an exfoliating stretching towel. And I don't even know how much this is. Oh, $3.99. I really, really love these. I showed y'all something like this in Target, but this one is not so abrasive like the other one and it actually um it's actually cute and you you got these little handles on the side where you can hold it instead of like holding the towel itself and that gives you a lot more um, motion so yeah okay y'all so apparently my camera just decided to die since i've been in the car this whole time for like 
literally an hour charging my camera and then i don't even know how long i've been in here and it just died like that just that's annoying anyways they have this vanilla happy body mist for 5.99 i really love a good mist after i get out of the shower and it's time to go to bed actually so let me see let me see what it smells like yep yep definitely vanilla i'm not sure if let me see it has alcohol in it though Ooh, it doesn't have any parabens, sulfates, dyes, or palm oil. I mean, it really smells good. But it has alcohol in here. And it's a body mist. Just don't put it on your body, okay? Just put it on your clothes. I don't know. Your pajamas or something. But that really does smell good. That's a nice vanilla scent for $5.99. Um, but anyways, I really came over here to talk about face or skincare. I don't even know how that, why that is right there, but that smells good. Anyways, they have a collagen and hyaluronic um, facial mist. I did tell y'all a little bit about collagen and the fact that it cannot be absorbed by your skin itself because it's too big to be absorbed by your skin. So I really don't like when they um, promote collagen in like skin products you can only your body can only absorb collagen if you ingest it by drinking it or eating it or whatever um but yeah hyaluronic actually does help in a way um so that is like a exfoliator but then it also helps to moisturize your skin by bringing that water to the surface of your skin making your skin super glowy but this is a facial mist i wouldn't even say that this is a toner um i guess you can i don't know i don't know what what they're getting out with a facial mist if it's not a toner but yeah i would say it could be a toner because of the hyaluronic but it's not saying that it's just saying a facial mist um and i wouldn't say that it's firming because collagen actually does help to firm and um tighten your skin in a way however like i said it's just not gonna do what it needs to do on top of your skin you need to ingest collagen for it to do something like that this is cute. I really like the um, packaging here, but this is some type of fragrance. It has sweet strawberry milk scented. It has an oil concentration of 20%. Um, and it is $16.99. I'm about to spray this and see what, I just never heard of this company and I don't know. But okay, the top is off, so let's see. I mean, it doesn't really smell like anything. I mean, it does smell like something, but not for real. And I just don't know if I like that scent. Whatever. Um, this is a facial cream. I really love First Aid Beauty. This is oil-free. So this is really good for people that have sensitive skin and then also oily skin. If you're looking for a facial cream, that's not going to make you too oily. And this is $7.99 here. They're saying it's $13.50 elsewhere. I have not seen that in Sephora, so I don't even know where they would sell that at. Probably online. But yeah, girl. And you ain't got to worry about shipping, so okay. And then this one is a rose aloe and hyaluronic acid facial mist. Again, I'm thinking the mist is really meaning uh, toner and um i don't know i kind of like the aloe in there with rose because that's very soothing and hydrating and then the hyaluronic acid is just going to exfoliate your skin and then add that plump of water to the top of your or to the surface of your skin i mean your skin looking super moisturizing so i will use this after doing my skincare routine just to spray it over this serum i'm so um happy about this is five dollars and 99 cents here um, i'm guessing they're saying that it's ten dollars this is with the company precision beauty and they actually have a lot of nice products here in tj maxx so it's good for enlarged pores obviously y'all know niacinamide actually helps with the um pores and then even uneven skin texture it reduces hyperpigmentation and that's really good you can use it on your face and your neck but yeah niacinamide is really that grow this is a serum so obviously it has a niacinamide in there but then it has other things mixed into it it doesn't tell me what percentage is niacinamide so that's one of the things that i like to know um 
but nevertheless nice and white is really really good um this is a clarifying facial wash and a scrub together so it's no parabens no soul face no fragrance no mineral oils petroleum all that good stuff and it is fragrance free i'm trying to see exactly what it is that is exfoliating in here while they're calling it a scrub i see some little dots in here so maybe it's beads uh, i'm trying to read the little print and it's not telling us exactly how it's going to exfoliate and i don't like seeing stuff like that you know the packages are going to tell you exactly what they want you to know but not exactly what it is and that's why you always have to read <laughs> but this one is a um hydrate and comfort liquid recovery is what they're calling it what does liquid recovery do what is it doing is it soothing your skin hmm I don't know that's interesting to see i don't know i don't know have anybody used this comment down below if you have used something like this i don't know what that is or what it's supposed to do honestly um and then another thing to this collagen deal i don't like it i don't like seeing collagen on products anymore just because i've learned that and it's just so frustrating um so this is good with manuka honey in here they have facial scrubs hmm for $5.99. The Manuka honey is very um, soothing. So if you have any flare-ups or anything like that. But you also need to get them bumps off of your face. That'll definitely get you together. Um, again, I love For Say Beauty. They have an oatmeal mask. Absolutely amazing. You leave this on for 10 minutes. And this is really, really good for the girls that have sensitive skin as well. If you're dealing with um, a flare-up. And it's only $7.99, so, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like I should get something like that, especially because my skin sometimes be tripping. I'm actually going to get this oatmeal mask. Um, Obviously, y'all know this doesn't smell like anything, and I'm just checking the seal to see if it's closed because y'all know. But, um yeah i'm actually getting this because oatmeal will definitely calm your skin down if you're dealing with flare-ups and this is the season because this air be making me yeah i'll just be going through it so um what else do they got oh shoot they have an overnighter like a drying lotion interesting so this is good for the oily skin girls so you can use this on your face and your body, but these problem areas um, to bed with higher education, drying lotion. Oh, this has salicylic acid in there, y'all. This is really good for acne. Um, it has sulfur and kaolin clay. Amazing. What the heck? Y'all better come down here and get one of these. This is crazy. If I was really an oily skin girl, I would definitely, definitely purchase this. This is $6.99 and it's regularly $9. I never heard of higher education, but yeah, get into it. That's crazy. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I'm actually about to get up out of here. Oh, here go another like pour clearing clay right here. So this is for my dry skin girls. This is a wash off mask. Ooh, and it's $9.99. Oh my God, let me get up out of here. But, um. Okay, y'all, so we're actually gonna head up out of this store. I've been in here for a grip. I need to charge my camera and my mama just called me and I need to get up out of here before I spend any more money. <laughs> but um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, press the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed, girl, and press the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.